Oh, I joked about it, but you knew these rumors were coming from reliable sources. And of course, they are in regards to the future of the DCEU and them now officially having their own version of Kevin Feige, who would be the one, the only, James Gunn. So look, I'm not even going to pretend that you guys don't know that you're not smart enough to figure out how these rumors started and why people are saying them. James Gunn was hired after he was fired by Disney to do the Suicide Squad. WB said, you can do whatever you want. He even confirmed this. They literally told him, pick anything, any franchise. Here's what we'd like you to do, but what would you like to do? And he said, I'd like to do the Suicide Squad. I don't want Superman. I know you guys want me to do Superman. I don't want Green Lantern. I know you guys want want me to do Green Lantern, let me do what I want. Of course, they let him, and the results from the sneak peek and trailers speak for themselves. People are rather excited for the Suicide Squad. Then, of course, recently we got the news, hey, James Gunn, he's working on an HBO Max series featuring John Cena's Peacemaker. It's a spin-off. And of course, we're hearing that there's going to be more involvement with James Gunn down the road in regards to the entire DCEU. So of course, you read this, you read between the lines, and if you're a person that's a quote-unquote scooper, you run with the headline of something along the lines of exclusive James Gunn to oversee the entire DCEU. Exclusive James Gunn to be the DC's Kevin Feige. Right? It just writes itself. And what proof do they have? Well, he was hired for a movie. He was hired for this TV show. And they've teased multiple projects down the road, also involving the same director. So again, it's a simple equation. Two plus two equals four. There you go. It's the same thing I said for the Keanu Reeves as reportedly Moon Knight. If you look at everything they're casting, and then you previously reported that he's not cast for the previous thing that they've already cast somebody else with, you go, well, Kevin Feige still wants to work with Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves keeps saying he wants to work with Marvel. What else is coming out? And you look at the slate and you go, well, it must be Moon Knight. If it's not Moon Knight, we'll just move the goalpost out there till he's eventually cast. We'll go, aha, there you go. And then the story is, well, they couldn't figure out how to get him in the previous role, so they want him in the new one. Remember, Keanu Reeves was rumored for Silver Surfer and Adam Warlock and Eternals Drogi or Drogi, I'm not sure how to say that. And also at one point, The Punisher. Again, sure. Is James Gunn going to work more with the DCEU? Yes. Yes, he is. Which naturally means that he's sort of a Kevin Feige figure because he's overseeing this huge transitional period for them. But they also got J.J. Abrams and other directors like Andy Muschietti. So there is a chance that all of them are sitting down just kind of looking at it being like, well, here's what I'm doing and here's this character, so how do we do this? And that's just sort of the natural course for the future of, well, everything, really. So I know this video is probably not what you want to hear. You want me to be like, yes, guaranteed, all these scoops are right. But at some point, sure. Yeah, Kevin Feige, he's the man overseeing Marvel Studios. James Gunn is probably going to be the guy that has the most hand into what's happening with the entire DCEU. Because he's... They clearly trust them more than anybody because he's already worked in the Marvel Studios sort of ecosystem and learned from that and really got popular because of that. So yeah, if you stole them, use them.